Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Demos Diecast. Shout out to all of our returning viewers and subscribers out there. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. And big ups and a big welcome to all the new subscribers and first-time viewers. Thank you, guys, for checking us out. Hope everybody's having a great start to their week out there. Hope you had a great weekend, whatever it is that you were doing. Spent a lot of time with family this weekend. Didn't get to do a lot of hunting or anything with diecast, but it's all right. Um, definitely was refreshing and good for the soul. So today we are here with a quick video, nothing too long, but uh, received this in the mail today. This is the new Hot Wheels RLC Pagani Huayra R. Um, super, super excited to get this one in. Quick uh, little glance at the box there. You got your Pagani branding. Uh, Pirelli. Super, super sick. So, yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's tear into this. That is crazy. This is sick. Man, oh man. Sheesh. Wow. Look at it. Just look at it. Let's go ahead and get this acrylic off, take a closer look on the base, and then we'll pull it off. And there is some uh, features to this car as well. So, Man, this thing is so, so sick. Wow. Crazy. Got the white ceramic coated exhaust the italian stripes there on the diffuser man this is nuts the mirrors this is crazy wow let's take a closer look so yeah the quality looks really really good on this um i don't know if the camera is really picking it up but the paint is amazing on this um, usually you see like a bunch of little surface scratches and um, just kind of flaws in the paint. I don't see anything and I'm looking at it off camera. That's why I'm wondering if it's picking it up. But yeah, I mean, the paint through here is just flawless. Look at that reflection. Crazy. Uh, this thing is super, super dope. So, yeah, right off the bat, that paint is definitely catching my eye. It's kind of like a black chrome spectra flame, I guess. Um, super sick. So, yeah, you got a beautiful black 10-spoke wheel. You've got your Italian flag here on the side. Huayra R branding there with the race number on the door there. Um, you do have your intake roof scoop there leading to the engine bay. This one also has a removable engine cover that we'll take a look at here in a minute. Um, some indication of some venting up here in the front. Um, nice thick side skirt there, which would be probably carbon fiber on the real car. Um, crazy. You got your Pirelli branding up here at the top of the windshield. Um, really, really sick mirrors. Um, unfortunately, they didn't give it any type of reflective material on the face of the mirror, but... Um, just the fact that these are sticking out like this, um, pretty crazy. It look, does look like it's an extra add-on piece, so it is not part of the casting. It's going to be a plastic add-on piece that would push into a hole there, um, but still super sick. Um, yeah, really, really nice. 
Uh, you got an indication of our front canard here. Take a look at the front. Some tampoed up headlights. Number again, race number on the front. Um, really nice lower front fascia there. Super, super dope. You got the orange outline along the bumper there. Orange stripe up the top. Outline around the um, cockpit. So that's pretty sick. Uh, indication of some venting here on the hood. Not actually open, but um, still pretty sick. So... Looks like it's some indication of some venting there as well that you can see on both sides. So that's pretty sick. Um, interior, can't really see too much. It's kind of like a cloudy glass, like a charcoal, like smoked, but um, probably pretty basic. If it had an opening door, I would expect a little bit more, but probably not. Um, so you're going to get pretty much the same thing on this side. Um, everything looks really good on this, like... You know, fitment and paint. Um, I don't see any glue marks or anything like around the windshield or glass. Um, super sick. Let's take a look at that rear. So on the rear here, you have a really, really nice white ceramic coated uh, four pipes coming out the middle for the exhaust. Super dope. Um, you have a nice indication of a tail light all the way around. This would be an LED tail light. So that's super sick. You get that really nice racing um, Huayra R spoiler here. So that's super dope. Um, you get your Pagani branding there on the top plane. And then, like I mentioned earlier, you've got the colors of the Italian flag there on the rear diffuser with a rear rain light there. So super, super dope. Um, really, really good detail on this, like... This is a really, really nice casting. They did a really good job with this. They really, really did. Um, let's see how this engine cover comes off. All right, got our engine cover off. Super sick there. Painted all around. Got some rivets for that rear spoiler for the post on the spoiler, so that's pretty dope. It's not actually part of the casting. Looks like it's riveted on there. That's pretty sick. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in, take a look at that engine. So, wow. Pretty, pretty good detail. Um, I feel like for the rest of the way that this car is detailed, I feel like they could have done a little bit more detail on the engine. But all in all, still pretty sick. Uh, so, it looks like some engine bracing here. Again, you've got your exhaust manifolds or your headers coming off here into a collector all four into one uh, this would be your cylinder head here cylinder head there intake manifold in the middle because obviously the roof scoop is feeding that intake manifold so intake manifold runners into the heads exhaust manifolds would come out and underneath wrap around I'm not too sure what these guys would be but all in all it's pretty sick um, some suspension components there and there so you, ooh, you do get like a spring for your coilover. So that's actually pretty sick right there. That's pretty dope. So um, engine bay, like I said, I feel like it could be a little bit more detailed, but it's not terrible, right? Um, so all in all, I think Mattel did a really good job with this casting. They really, really did. I'm super glad that I grabbed a couple. Um, this is definitely one that, you know, uh, it's just, first time casting interesting to see where they go with it and also to uh, you know me I, I might even swap it so it has these little posts here and here and it looks like those slide into these inlets there and that's what locks your um, engine cover in place so that's pretty sick so push that all the way in push it down boom crazy Let's get this one off the base. Obviously, there's no issues with RLCs. They always roll, but we'll take a look at the underside of the car as well. See what that looks like. So there it is off the base. No issues with rolling on a Hot Wheels, so... Super good there. Um, we'll take a look at the base. 
It's going to be nice and flat. Again, you don't have any exhaust or drivetrain running through because this is going to be a mid-engine rear-wheel drive. Um, so just nice and flat. You've got a front rivet there where the screw goes in. Um, I'm not sure if this car actually has three rivets or is this, or if this is just there for the base. Uh, I would imagine that also holds the car together. So it looks like you would have to drill three. So um, And then it looks like this rear rivet actually attaches to that exhaust so you can see where that white goes down um, basically right there it looks like that's going to travel through to your rear rivet so the engine is going to be the third rivet in the back um, in order to get the car apart but super dope uh, really really happy to grab this one and yeah i am super impressed so I'm going over this one and seeing the detail on it makes me want to do a series. So basically what I plan to do is um, I'm going to do a series of videos comparing Hot Wheels to collector grade br brands such as Tarmac, Mini GT, NO64, um, LCD, GCD, all of these collector grades um, that generally run you $20 and up. Um, I want to compare them to some like models that I have in Hot Wheels and let you guys be the judge and see if the price difference between what you get from Hot Wheels versus what you pay for the collector grade brands, is it worth it, right? Is the value there? Um, seeing this, I think it's going to be a really cool comparison. I do have the Tarmac work version of this. So, yeah, I think I'm going to start a series of videos and because I have so many that we can compare but I will do a series and um, we'll start off with the supercars or hypercars like these and then from there we'll just keep moving through and comparing them and kind of let you guys see and make a decision hey is this really worth the extra money so um, man could not be happier with that perfect roller um, what can I say the I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera. Let's see if I can lower this a little bit. But there is like no wheel gap on this. Um, super, super sick. So super excited. Thank you guys for tuning in, checking that one out with me. Um, really, like I said, looking forward to seeing where they go with that casting. Having a couple more come out um, should be pretty cool. And then stay tuned if you'd like to see the comparisons between some of the Hot Wheels castings and some of the collector grade stuff uh, just so that we can, again, see the value and if the value is truly there in the Tarmac, the Yenos, the Mini GTs, etc. So uh, quick and short today. Thank you guys. Appreciate you for tuning in. Hope everybody has a great start to their week, a great rest of their week. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, comment down below what you thought of this one. And if you grabbed it, um, and then again, share the channel, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, we're going to keep pumping out videos. And like I said, we have those coming up and we also have some wheel swap tutorials coming up as well. Um, may do a few episodes of those as well as a live stream to kind of answer any questions live, but yeah, we're going to get all that cracking. So stay tuned. Thank you guys again for tuning in, and we will see you shortly on the next one. One love.